In question four, all that we get asked to do is to modify the part that we made in the previous question. Uh, that might sound easy, and the reason why it sounds easy is because it is easy. Uh, all you have to do is change A, B, and C. Uh, I didn't want to make an entire video showing you how to change your dimension, so I wanted to show you a smarter way that you could look at this question uh, so that if you wanted to go back and check your answers after the, you've completed all the parts, you will have all the parts ready to check uh, one at a time. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll create the part. So this is one I've created earlier and if you go to the configurations you can go through and see all the different part models from all the different questions. So this is question 3, 4, 5 and 6. The benefits of using uh, the tables uh, is that if you're doing the exam and you fill in all the answers and then you accidentally click some of the wrong multiple choices you can go back and just make sure that your answers are completely correct. So you don't have to do it this way. I like to do it. I think it's neat. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to use this video as a chance to introduce a couple of these concepts. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I've restructured my window a little bit. Hopefully that's fine for you. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd really recommend you saving the part. Uh, so go up and save as, and just call your part, part modeling or whatever. Uh, you should save, I'm gonna cancel, because I've already saved, make sure you save yours. Uh, in the previous video I treated these dimensions, A, B and C dimensions, essentially like any other dimension uh, and I just ignored the fact that they were called A, B and C and blindly put in their uh, actual length. Uh, but well, I could have done this at the same time. For the sake of the video I'm going to keep these, I kept it separate but you could do it. You could see it coming, that's what I'm trying to say. So to add before we add the design tables, we're going to quickly link the key dimensions, A, B and C dimensions. So to do that, we'll go back into our sketch and right click the dimensions that we want to change uh, and it's linked values. Unfortunately, it's come out under the, under the screen. Oh, good. So this is one, linked values. Click that and then my 181, that's A. And 57 linked values. Again, a little bit out of the screen. Yep, linked values is B. Uh, and just if you're wondering, if you ever, if SolidWorks ever tries to throw you out and you want to get back in line and you're finding it hard to do it with the mouse, just hit space and you can click normal to, and that will default go to the plane that's normal to the sketch you're working on. Okay, so exit the sketch, and now we just have to do our C. So to do that, keep yourself some angle, click the feature, and although it's all blue, if you look really carefully, you should be able to find your length dimension. Uh, so you, you can do the same thing, right click on that and link values, and this is our C. So now all of our key dimensions are now linked and that'll help us out when we create our design tables. So to come up to create a design table, go up, insert, and we want, is it insert or, yeah, tables, insert, tables, design table. Uh, now, if you go blank, you have to create an Excel table and put it all in from scratch. I like to use auto create. Uh, you can change any of these uh, options uh, as you like, but I'm going to keep them as a default for now, so tick. And now these are, these are my sketch entities, my sketch dimensions, sorry. And you can easily see A, B, and C, hold down control, A, B, and C are all there, so OK. And this will automatically put them into my into my design table. The default will set to question three, so I can override that by typing in 
can override that by typing in question Q3, uh, Q4. We can change these dimensions to 84, 59, and 45, as it asks us to do here. And then if we click away, it'll freak out for a little bit, load, and then tell us that our configurations, uh, how new configurations have been generated. To see these configurations, you can go to the configuration manager, makes sense, and have a play between question four and question three. You can see they're only slightly different, but now when you go up and see uh, the, the mass, 1032.32 oh we don't get a multiple choice we just have to type that in so we really want to be confident in our answers correct so to make sure that everything's gone fine we can go back and just check that we didn't accidentally change any dimensions or constraints uh, so go back to question 3 check um, mass again and yet, yeah, uh, 939.54 grams, that's nothing's changed. We haven't changed anything. All we've done is changed the uh, key dimensions. And so we're pretty confident that if we go back to our question four and view, uh, keep doing that, tools, mass properties, uh, we're pretty confident that 1032.32 grams will be the correct answer. So we'll just type that in. I like to use design tables, you, you might not see the benefits in it, but if you are really wanting to do well on this test, I couldn't, yeah, I'd really recommend that you uh, spend some time and try and f try to familiarize, uh, try and familiarize yourself uh, with design tables.